While it was known that new actors had been cast as several returning characters from The Shining in the sequel Doctor Sleep, it wasn't known beyond the rumor stage whether Shining protagonist Jack Torrance himself would show up in the film. Well, he does. And it's during one of Doctor Sleep's most emotionally pivotal moments. Rather than digitally de-aging or using VFX to replicate original Jack Torrance actor Jack Nicholson for the sequel, director Mike Flanagan opted to simply recast the role and use makeup and a wig to make actor Henry Thomas resemble Jack Nicholson's iconic incarnation of the axe-wielding bad dad. Flanagan also recast other notable roles from the original film while also faithfully recreating not only the interiors of the haunted hotel, but several iconic shots from the Stanley Kubrick horror classic as well. Mike Flanagan recently spoke to IGN about his decision to recast these roles instead of relying on visual effects. Here's what he had to say. You know, it was never going to be a, a, a possibility, of course, to, to go back to the, the same actors. You know, too much time's gone by and some of them aren't alive anymore. And I didn't want to do the digital versions. I, I find that technology to still be kind of distracting for me. What I decided to do instead was to try to find actors who reminded me of those performers just a little bit, um, that had a couple of notes that would be familiar enough to kind of remind me as a viewer of the performances that I'm so familiar with in the Kubrick film. And then I wanted them to take the characters and, and make them their own, kind of take them in a new place instead of being limited to an impression. I didn't want anything in the movie to feel like it, we were just doing an impression. So it was, it was really tough and it was tough to find people that would kind of simultaneously invoke my memory of those actors while also doing their own thing. It was tough. Uh, Henry Thomas, who, who played Jack, was really afraid of trying to go full Jack. He didn't want to do that, and we didn't want him to. Uh, one of the big things for him was he's like, I'm, I'm not playing Jack, I'm playing Lloyd. In the same way that Delbert Grady in the Kubrick film is just a waiter. You know, he, he denies who he is whenever Jack Torrance asks him in the bathroom. He says, you're Delbert Grady, you killed your family. And he says, no, you've mistaken me for someone else. It, this idea that once you're kind of consumed by the hotel, you, you're digested as staff. I thought was really, really cool. And in a way it was great because Kubrick kind of showed us how to handle Jack that way, you know? Um, but yeah, so he was mostly playing Lloyd and he would say to me before we did a take, he said, I'm gonna let Jack out, you know, just for this line or just for this look. The, the precision of that I thought was really impressive. In the film's final act, the adult Danny Torrance returns to the Overlook to use its evil forces against Rose the Hat in order to protect young Abra Stone. Before the final battle ensues, Danny wanders the halls of the Overlook before arriving at the hotel bar. An unseen bartender starts to speak to him, producing a whiskey bottle and proceeding to entice Danny, a recovering alcoholic now eight years sober, to have a drink. The bartender says alcohol is simply medicine for what ails us, such as raising a family. After Danny refuses and confronts the bartender, we see the bartender's face. Jack is now one of the ghosts haunting the Overlook Hotel, with Danny needing to confront his inner demons in the form of his father before confronting the outer ones in the end battle. It's also his one last temptation and victory over alcoholism that had profoundly affected his life. What did you think of how Dr. Sleep handled the Jack Torrance cameo? Let us know in the comments, and for more on Dr. Sleep, check out our review and director Mike Flanagan's picks for the best Stephen King villains. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.